Previously on film alert, did somebody write action? Now take this, Lamo. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Filmland, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And if you can't figure out what we're doing today, uh, I don't really know what to tell you, but let's check out some requests anyway. So it looks like a few of you have asked for a Wonder Woman bullet blocking effect from Justice League and Wonder Woman. So that's what we're doing today. But in order to complete this effect, you need to grab some of these Wonder Woman bracelets. Now you can find these at costume shops on eBay. I actually bought these from Wish.com. Now just as a side note, these are really, really crappy. I mean, just look at the paintwork. It's just awful. The wrist wraps don't actually go all the way around. <laughs> and one of the straps fell off just in the mail. So just be aware that when you are looking for these things, you may come across ones that are of crappy quality. You'll also have to shoot your actor pretending to deflect those bullets, which looks ridiculous and even funnier when you add this music. Now you'll also need some spark assets. I for one am using the ones from actionvfx.com. They have an awesome range of spark assets and at the moment they're having their Black Friday sale and you can get 50% off all of those things. But you can grab any spark assets that you find online. Just make sure they look like the ones that I've got on screen right now. And just in reference to our Black Friday video that we posted last week, if you do want any episodes on advanced muzzle flash tutorials or a tutorial on how to remove the orange tip from your gun, just check out these episodes in the description. Now, you got all that? Well, let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and today we actually have three comps set up and ready to go. Because as crazy as it sounds, we have three different shots to cover. Now the first one is the easiest one, that's just adding our spark elements to the shot as our actor blocks the bullets. And the second and third one are a little bit more complicated. What we're going to cover here is the bracelets or the gauntlets glowing red after blocking the bullets. Now there's two different styles of these glows as well. The one from Justice League that appears like the gauntlets are glowing from within the darker ridges and the one from Wonder Woman which has more of a traditional circle hit point. So we're going to do all three, so let's get started with the easy one and I do mean easy. The basic idea is very simple guys. At this point where you'd like to add your block, you add your spark element. So if we scrub along the timeline, and let's say here is a good point, right here. Let's then jump over to the project window, grab a spark element, and then drop it in the timeline at that exact point. We'll then of course position that one into place like so. And there we are. We'll then do a quick scrub back and forth to see how it looks. I might just rotate this one by hitting R and shifting it so the sparks, no, spark out that way. Nice. I'll then change the transfer mode on that spark element to screen. Next, let's add a little bit of glow. For this, I'm just going to duplicate that spark element. We'll then head to effect, blur and sharpen and add fast box blur. And I'll crank it up until I get a nice glow. There. Doesn't that look pretty? And that's it. We now have one bullet block in place. Now in order to do more than one bullet block, you simply just repeat those exact steps. Just like I'm doing in this sped up footage and the end result will look like this. See how easy that was? Now you're blocking bullets and you're not looking, well... Go ninja, go ninja, go! Go ninja, go ninja, go! Now gang, something you may want to do if your spark element goes for more than a few frames is animate the position to stick to your actual gauntlet. And that's a pretty easy process. All you have to do is hit P to bring up position controls, hit the stopwatch on position, and then just go forward frame by frame a few frames and just adjust that spark element. Done. Okay, next shot. Our first one being the bullet block from Justice League. Now don't get me wrong, this is easy too, but it's just got a few more steps. So here's our shot right here. As you can see, I've already added our spark element just like our last step to this shot. So at the exact point our spark starts, we want to head down and duplicate our active footage. From there, we need to trim it to start when our spark does as well, like so. Next, we need to mask out the area that we want to glow. So let's head up, grab the pen tool, and mask out, now well, let's just call it a rough mask, around here. Done. We'll then hit F and feather it out around 100 pixels. From there, we need to track the mask to follow our footage. Now you can do this frame by frame, or you can just do what I'm gonna do, and just click our mask, if you're using After Effects CC, and select Track Mask. I'm just gonna set it to track the position only, and once it's done, it should look like this. Now let's add some effects to this. Firstly, head to Effect, 
Channel and select Invert. As you can see, we've now changed our footage to a negative. We can now change the transfer mode on that one to screen. That way, our glue will primarily shine through the dark edges of the gauntlet. Next, head back to Effect, Color Correction and grab Photo Filter. Let's turn off Preserved Luminosity and crank it up to 100%. Lastly, let's head to Effect, Color Correction and add Exposure. We're going to adjust the exposure amount to 0.73 and the offset to minus 0.11. And the gamma correction, of course, to 2.48. But these settings may not work for your shot, guys, so do have a play with all three of these until you achieve a similar look. Our last step on this layer is to hit T to bring up opacity, hit the stopwatch, and then head to near the end of the comp and then crank it down to zero. This will sell the illusion that the heat has been absorbed by the gauntlet. Now I know at this moment it does look pretty crappy, but trust me, we only have a few steps left to make this look sweet. So our next step is to duplicate that footage. We'll then head to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and add Fast Box Blur. And I'm gonna crank this up to around 10 to 20%. I'll then duplicate that footage once more and get rid of all of those effects, just get rid of them. Then from there, all I'm gonna do is head to Color Correction and add Photo Filter and just make it orange and crank that bad boy up to 100%. All this does is just give our footage just one last punch of color in that glow. If we check out a preview, you can see our bullet hits and then the heat fades away. Pretty cool, huh? Now the last shot is a fairly similar process, but it's a little different. For starters, we'll still duplicate the footage at the start of the spark point, trim it down, and there we go. Only this time, rather than heading up and grabbing the pen tool, we're gonna grab the ellipse tool. And then we're gonna just draw ourselves a nice round circle. We're then gonna track that mask the same way as our other mask. Once we have the track, it's time to add some effects. Whoops, before we go any further, gotta hit F and fill this one out 50 pixels. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like a big old circle and really look stupid. Firstly, let's change the transfer mode to add. This immediately gives us a hotspot that you can see right now. So let's color that hotspot. Let's head to effect, color correction and add photo filter and set it to red. And once again, crank that bad boy up to 100%. Done. Now I just might adjust the mask expansion to make this hotspot a little bit smaller. Just hit MM and then head down to mask expansion. Mm, that's better. Let's then hit T to bring up opacity and hit the stopwatch. We'll then head to the near the end of the comp and crank it down to zero. Let's then duplicate this layer and from there we'll change the photo filter color to orange and change the transfer mode on this one to screen. We'll then head to effect Blur and sharpen and add fast box blur. And I'm gonna crank this up to around 60. Now our last step is to open those mask expansion settings by hitting MM on the keyboard, and then we're gonna expand that mask area. This will extend our glow overall and soften the harshness a great deal. And if we check out a preview, that my friends is three different Wonder Woman effects. Done. Add up all those steps and get something like this. Now take this limo. I don't believe it. What are you? So guys, that's my take on Wonder Woman's bullet blocking effect from Justice League and Wonder Woman itself. As you can see, it's a really easy effect to make as long as you've got the props and you've got some good spark assets. Now guys, there is another episode of Film London coming out later this week where I'm gonna show you how to make your own flash lightning from scratch. It's a little bit complicated, so that's why I thought I'd make this Wonder Woman one first. And the easiest way to not miss that episode is make sure you click that notification bell down there and turn on notifications for every episode of Film London so you don't miss out. Now guys, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Action VFX still have their Black Friday sale on. It is going all the way to this Friday. So if you are in the market for some sweet VFX stock footage, be it debris and impact, explosions, fire, gun effects, particles, smoke, water blasts, and their new aerial explosions pack, head over there and use the coupon code BF2017 to get 50% off everything. And while you're there, please check out their free VFX section. They have some really cool stuff there that's completely free for you to download and use in your own projects. 
But as always, guys, that is my time. If you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn those notifications on even if you are an old subscriber. Just so you don't miss a single film on an episode. We've got two other film on episodes right here, so check those out. My social media crap is above my head. I post all the time, so check those out. And until we're back later in the week to teach you how to make your own flash lightning, keep learning.